we are given that alpha and beta are roots of the quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus b and the product of the roots alpha beta is equal to c. But we are given that c is negative. Therefore, the product of alpha and beta is negative. When the product of two numbers is negative, when they have opposite signs, therefore alpha and beta are of opposite signs. Now we are given that alpha is less than beta, therefore alpha, which is the smaller of the two numbers, must be negative and beta must be positive. Let's call this result 1. Now alpha plus beta is equal to minus b as obtained above. Therefore beta is equal to minus b minus alpha. Now we are given that b is greater than 0. Therefore minus b is less than 0. Subtracting alpha from both sides we get minus b minus alpha is less than minus alpha. The left hand side is equal to beta and therefore beta is less than minus alpha. Now from result 1, alpha is negative and therefore modulus of alpha is equal to minus alpha. Therefore the result beta less than minus alpha obtained above can also be written as beta less than modulus of alpha. Let's call this result 2. Combining results 1 and 2, we get alpha is less than 0, is less than beta, is less than modulus of alpha. And this is the required result.